Wow, this is something. You've got to see this. I mean, what is this exactly? NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spots second Star Trek logo on the red planet. This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, NASA's moon mission, has discovered another mysterious Star Trek looking logo shaped mark on Mars. The NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, searching for evidence concerning water or whatever else it could find, is persisting on Mars planet surface. Other Mars missions indicate water once flowed across this planet, which is today barren. Something happened as a catastrophe that took away water, uh, atmosphere, the magnetosphere of the planet. Something very strange happened. It remains a mystery whether water was ever around long enough to provide a habitat for alien life. But NASA's probe now spotted something totally unexpected from above. What is this? It's another mysterious Star Trek logo on Mars. NASA's orbiting craft captured another image of st strange chevron marks on the Martian surface, and they look like Star Trek Starfleet symbol, a chevron type of a thing. It's uh, very similar and it's left many commentators questioning how this could have ended up on the surface of Mars. The shapes were found in the southeast Hellas Planitia region of Mars. They were forged by wind, lava, and dunes, they say. Some distance point in Mars history, crescent-shaped dunes were in the area. An eruption sent lava spewing out, outlining the dunes but not covering them. Then, as the lava cooled, the dunes pointed up like islands, but they were still dunes, so the martial wind, the Martian wind, which is brutal, could have moved them, making the dunes migrate. Can you imagine? Then, as the lava cooled, the dunes pointed up like islands, but they were still dunes, so the brutal Martian wind moved them, making the dunes migrate. This is definitely something that we see happening in the Sahara Desert, for example. Their footprints are dubbed dune casts, and they were left behind in the lava field. So, no, it's not an alien habitat or a Starfleet base, unless the United Federation of Planets has some explaining to do about this. The University of Arizona manages the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter High-Rise, High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment. And uh, that's the camera that they use. Enterprising viewers will make the discovery that these features look conspicuously like a famous logo. You'd be right, but it's uh, only a coincidence. This is not the first time the Mars orbit spotted such Star Trek logos on the surface. Researchers last year found hundreds of crescent-shaped depressions on the surface of Mars, and they look like pills used to be that used to be sand dunes some are the size of a u.s capitol building the orbiter sent back the high resolution images for 13 years it's well past the design lifetime it serves as a vital communication relay for nasa's curiosity rover and insight lander it's expected to support the mars 2020 rover mission when that craft lands on mars If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube 
channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.